Hey guys, in this devlog, I incorporate a stealing function for the bandit enemy unit and I fix the sound effects for all characters in the game. Hey guys, I've already got some tasks set up from last week, so I need to set up the bandit attack and I still need to find some music for the game. I'm also going to add in balancing of sounds. There's a bit of an issue where the sounds don't match up with the animation. And I'm going to clean up my to-do list, which is mainly about sounds anyway. I'm going to start with the bandit attack. I want to add in some kind of mechanic so that every time the bandit's on the field, the money on the map moves to him. I thought about the bandit collecting money as he walks, but as most of the signs generating the money are going to be at the back of the player's base, it will be difficult to steal the money. So I'm going to play around with the code a little bit, see what fits, uh, and I'll probably update the animation and the artwork afterwards. I've only got an hour to work on this. I've made some plans with some friends, so I'll get as far as I can get before I have to leave. Didn't get very far, but I've added in the basic function of the money moving to the bandit whilst on the scene. As you can see, it's not quite as expected. If I get back early, I'll carry on with this today. If not, I'll have to catch you guys next time. just got back and it's pretty late. I want to try and get the function working before going to bed. I got the function working. As you can see, every time there's a bandit in the lane and money spawns, the bandit will stop moving and it will suck up the money rather than the money going to the player. I still need to work on the animation and I'm thinking the bandit can carry a large magnet that sucks in the money. I'll have to start that tomorrow. plan for today is to start animating the magnet into the bandit character. I need to go to the gym for an hour, but when I get back, finish off the animation. I'm pretty much done with the bandit's animation. As you can see, every time money spawns, the bandit aims his magnet and steals it. Found a few bugs when I playtested it, but the money always moves towards the bandit, even if he wasn't aiming the magnet. But I fixed those issues, and I'm pretty happy with the result. It's super late now, so I'm gonna go to sleep. Hey guys, I wanted to get started fixing the sound so that they match up with the animation. 
But I had another look at the Bandit. And it's, it's still very buggy, the way he steals the money. Um, also, I had a look in the profiler, and every time the Bandits come into the scene, there seems to be an, a dip in the performance, overall performance of the game. Also, another thing I wasn't too happy about, when there's more than one bandit in the same lane, all of them try to attract the money, so I want to try and fix that. When it comes to performance, I try to avoid using the update function where possible. And if I do have to use the update function, I try to make sure there's a minimal impact on the overall performance of the game. So I'm going to have to revisit the code for the bandit um, and see what I can fix. It wasn't too hard to get the still function working as I wanted. Maybe it was too late last night or my brain was just fried and I couldn't figure out how to implement the function. I always knew the way I originally coded the still function I'd have to clean it at some point, so at least that's done. As you can see, performance is staying pretty consistent uh, and it isn't increasing as more bandits enter into the scene. Also, only the bandit at the front of the lane tried to steal the money and if he's busy attacking, then the bandit behind will get involved. Now that I'm finally done with the bandit, I'll start fixing the sound. The way I've added in the sound, they play as soon as the function starts. However, some of the sounds are mistimed, and rather than adding a delay to the sound being played, I'd rather start at the correct time in the animation. I finished adjusting the sounds. I'm probably not going to keep all the current sounds added to the game, but it should be enough for now. They should be enough to function as sound cues for the player to help him play in the game. If you want to follow me on my game dev journey, please subscribe. Please like if you enjoyed this video and leave your feedback in the comments below. Cheers guys, and I'll catch you in the next devlog.